Okay, everybody, I'm back again with a little flip of my latest Grimoire spread that I've been having lots of fun with in the past couple of days. So I thought I'd show you because it's a bit of fun. So I wanted to do a fold out one because my friend Penny asked me if I could show her how to do it and she's done a really good job of her own. Um, but I started this one with, um, I found some card when I bought some plasticine for messing about with stop motion. Um, and the, the box that it came in had got these holes in. I thought, oh, that's, that's got to be cool. Let's have a go with that. So I cut these to fit the sheets of my grimoire and um, put some masking tape on to attach them. And then I've been covered them all in a layer of paint, a bit of gesso and um, and then got to work on it really. Um, so I decided I wanted a bit of a sort of moon thing as the tab things. So I popped those on again with a bit of masking tape. And the big holes I wanted to cover with some sort of like planet affirmation things. So I did some watercolour paint on a bit of watercolour paper, <laughs> cut these out to fit the holes and got some little brads for them. So that's how I did those. But obviously, you know what it's like when you start doing something and it goes on and on and on and it develops even more. So I had such fun with this. So when I open out, I wanted to see within um, sort of a theme for the moment. So <clears throat> all about trusting your intuition. And good old Joe 90 came to the rescue. Here he is in Big Rat, tuning in, not to his intuition, but I like the idea of me going in Big Rat and tuning into my intuition, putting me magic glasses on and helping me see her clearly obviously i've worn glasses for a long time so i always thought they were magical um and they're, they're getting a bit worried about it yeah in the background look yeah once she knows the power of her intuition there's going to be no stopping her so i put some eyes on the backs of these planets here for an extra bit of like seeing clarity and all that sort of thing so that's how I did that one <clears throat> this one here then I got turn up your sparkle and look for the hidden gems so if you move them you will see some gems see this one you see a bit of sparkle there and luckily Vogue magazine was on offering the supermarket this week so I only ever buy it when it's two pound because I just use it to cut up with that's where the pretty models come from and so here we've got one look at her showing all her sparkle the shiniest sparkliest brilliantest bestest bits of her and that was really a spread all about tuning into your intuition and looking for your own hidden gems all wrapped up in a neat little fold away spread thank you for watching